So, Mike, you've 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 done some pretty major transitions. I got to believe we're talking to a lot of people who are who may be in a really scary place of having to let go of Plan A or whatever they you know the thing they counted on being. Mm-hmm. Uh, what can you say to people who are going through uh, a, a serious transition? Uh, I would say if the path uh, is clear, it's probably the wrong one. Mm. It's probably the wrong one. And I would also say, as I say to young, I just had a piece uh, at Penn State, and I talked to these young kids who were in the cast, embrace your fear. Mm. There's no reason why you shouldn't be, you know, embrace it. I think the anxiety, which is different than fear, is created when we when we deny our fear, you know. Wow. Fear is a great, you know, clarifier. Yes. Don't you think, Lyle? It's I a do. great educator. It's a gr- beautiful motivator. Look, when I was in the NFL, out on that field, guys, thirty pounds heavier than me, mm. I lived in fear all the time. <laughs> it was made me wow. move faster. <laughs> you know? Wow, it was a great survival technique. I don't know why we we just think, you know, stiff upper lip and uh, you know deny your fear. Uh, I, uh, it, it makes no sense to me. So I would say those two things. If if the you know. Uh, Embrace the challenges, you know, uh, Mm -hmm. embrace the insecurity of it all, the uncertainty of it all. Pay attention to what's going on in here. Really listen to what's going on here. And if, if if the path is a clear one, it might not be the one you should be on. I read a great book. I got to mention this last year called Emotional Agility. Mm hmm. And, um, it's really fantastic. Susan Cain, I think, was the author. But, the sentence that will all that stayed with me. I love it when somebody says something and you feel it go to long term memory. Like, oh, oh my that's, gosh. you feel it go to long term memory. Yes. What a great, what a great <laughs> idea. And she said, when huh. you're when you're going down a corridor of fear or whatever, she used fear. Don't run for the exit doors. Yeah, yeah. Stay with it because uh-huh. it will lead you. Right, and that, that sounds like what you're saying to me. Like, I think so. Almost trust it as a as a guide. Whatever you do, don't suppress it. And I do think, at least in my the trajectory of my growing up, I think there's been so much good science about emotions. Really, even in the past five or six years, that you just to stuff them down or to deny them is really a foolish thing to do. And they're gonna, like you said, they're gonna come out one way or the other. They are. They're the. They're the things. They will come out one way or the other. They will come out in, healthily or unhealthily. That's right. They'll come out in depression. They'll come out in alcohol. Mm-hmm. They'll come out in uh, uh, um, mind altering. You know, get me out of here mm-hmm. kind of thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Something. You know, I would say, and I and I'm not a doctor, and we, we're not. We're just batting around here. Yeah. But I think the thing that we – something we might both agree on, Lionel, is something in you knows. There is a silent knowing. Totally, totally something believe that. Something in you knows. Hollis references this Carl Jung quote. If you sit in the silence long enough, it will speak. Yeah. If you sit in the darkness long enough, it illumines. Yeah, that's – I totally buy that. I, I completely buy that. I completely buy that. I am so good with all that. Mike, thank you so much for your time. Oh, and, uh, this was a joy. I hope, uh, you know, wow, you get two of us in the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I hope uh, I hope you find this useful. I sure did. This is Absolutely. marvelous. Absolutely. And uh, I just I think it's pertinent to a lot of lives as, as our culture and our world is going through, you know, tumultuous change. Uh, it's good to touch base on these kind of thoughts, I think. You know what the big I'll, – I'll just say to the folks, though, it's okay to not have the answers. Absolutely. You know, Rilke, the great poet, said, live the questions. Live the question. Love Maybe it. you'll live your way into an answer or two. Yeah. 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 Thank you. You bet. Thank you, buddy.